everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with Stock Swoosh and I'm here to do a spa review. It is February 3rd, first week of the month, beginning of the month. I am sitting here and I saw the market into the close today and the market actually did today into the close what I thought it would do in the morning and then tomorrow we're going to do what I thought we'd do today. It's just, I have such a great eye for seeing things. It's just the timing sometimes of seeing things. It's, it's, this is, you know, this is trading people. I mean, this is trading, but I knew we would do this. What, what we're going to do to tomorrow is gap up. And I thought we'd do that today. No, we did gap up today, but we didn't fall through. But I thought today we'd fall through with a gap. And I was erring on the side of caution for all shorts. And then we fell, but we didn't reverse swoosh in the morning. I was like, oh, this is interesting. And then when we broke the bar from yesterday, I was like, I had no read. I mean, people were, Journey Woman was asking me in the room, she's like, what do you think of the market? And I'm like, I'm like, this doesn't even make any sense to me right now. So I can't say anything because nothing makes sense. And then I walked away, left, came back. And I'm like, and then I saw, I was like, oh my Lanta. And then I knew that we were going to bounce, bounce hard, bounce into the clothes, go green into the clothes. And that's what we did. And we'll fall through in a gap up tomorrow. I mean, this is amazing, but this is the market. And people get upset because they say, oh, it whipsawed us. It did this, it did that. No, I expected us to do this today. It did it on the day instead of in the morning, okay? And and looking back now, actually, what we what we really needed to do this morning is to gap over yesterday's bar, which we didn't do. We, we, we really needed to gap over 192 to run in the day. We didn't, but I thought there was enough strength in the market to go over that on the morning. But when we couldn't, then we didn't. And and I just want to point out this area here. Mm, look at that. I didn't even saw that now. Oh my Lanta. See, look at this. This these are areas. Support resistance are areas. Look. Look! The day of the open of the anomaly day of the open of the anomaly day was 187.49 in the spy. And today's low was like 187-ish. This is it's the same thing. It's area 187.10. Oh my Lanta. I didn't even see that earlier when I was looking at this when I called the bounce. This is almost a climactic bounce today, which, you know, I don't do that. But look at this rally. This is buying. You want to know what institutional buying looks like? You want to know what money, power money is in the market? Boom. This is it. Lifting over itself. This is money buying the market. This is the bulls coming in and saying no, 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 no to the bears and following through. So yesterday I did a market video and I said, I think we follow through in our green and rally straight all the way up. We didn't today, we will now. So I was one day, one day break in here. We will gap up tomorrow. We could gap neutral, or small gap or medium gap, or we could gap up big. What would we need to do to get, if we, if we gap small or medium, we'll run. If we gap up big, I mean, no, let me be realistic. 195. So either we are neutral or small gap up tomorrow, we run green on the day, or we gap up big to 195 and run green on the day. Target then will be 200. Or we open up a little bit and then target's 195. Expect a rally on Thursday and Friday in the market. There's a lot of reports out too. And look for strong stocks to recover from the drop off today. The market's a tricky read. I do very well at reading it. Sometimes I'm slightly off with the timing. Like today, I, I, yesterday I saw what was going to happen that happened today, but it happened in the afternoon today instead of the morning, and we'll follow through tomorrow. So you know, this is what it is. But again, I'm in the I'm in the spy options long, and it's it's a great call. I mean, it's a great call, and no one no one again is believes me. But we will still make a brand new all time high in the spy this year. It's it's only February third, and if we recover. If we recover 100%, 100%, which is which is approximately 200 from the open of the year, a down open of the year, a year where we dropped hard, a year where we open, let's just look at the open of the year, just 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 for so. We open at 249. Yep, 200. 249. This is amazing. And wait, I'm just going to get my calculator. Hold on. Let's just be exact. 249 minus the low in the year. I just, I just want to see something here. Hold on. 181 or 2. 
Okay, just listen to what I'm saying, people. So within one month, we dropped 1947, like almost 20 points from the open of the year down to the drop off of the anomaly day, which we will not break. But anyways, so we dropped like a rock, okay? Then we did the thing today, which was a fake out, because we're gonna blow out the shorts. Where do the shorts blow? Boop. Here's where the shorties blow in this 195 area, which is why if we gap up to 195, we will hold the gap and run. I don't, I don't know if we gap up to 195. If we don't, that's a target tomorrow we'll run up into. All right, getting back to what I was saying. So if we 100% retrace, the almost 20 point drop off that the market made the second calendar month of the year in the month of February, which is what I'm predicting will happen, that we will be at 200 at some point in February, we will definitely make an all time brand new high this year, which I predicted anyways, and, and we will make it somewhere, somewhere in March, April, it's just, you know, I have to see how we play out. And, you know, I'm very good at predicting things, but lots of things affect the market. And it's like I knew I knew I knew today the bias was bullish I saw it I saw it but it didn't happen to the afternoon in fact when was the low of the day set let's just let me just look here well it was set in the morning but it was set at 10 30 but this amazing amazing buying I mean look let's just look at the volume of this bar you see the V there the, the square to the left look at that look, look at that one <gasps> we're still trading after hours here look after hours we were at 191.74 I don't think we've gone over one night. Tomorrow morning in an ideal world, an ideal Melissa Armo stock swoosh world, we gap up tomorrow over 192. I'll have to see. So have a great night, everyone. This is Melissa Armo with Stock Swoosh. If you want to learn how to read stuff the way that I do, which is all based on gap analysis, it's advanced technical analysis, but it's in gaps. Many, many people have no clue how to read gaps, I have no clue how to read trends or charts. Do you have any idea how many traders right now are calling this market bearish? I mean, do you have any idea how many people think that we're actually in a downtrend? We're not. We're in an uptrend. And people are calling the market lower. I'm not. I just explained to you a little bit why, but it's, you know, too much tonight to go over it all. But if you trade with me and you trade with me daily and have done my Golden Gap class, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So have a great night, everyone. This is Melissa Armin with the Stock Swoosh. Email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com if you'd like more information. And if you want to do the gap class this weekend, it's a special class. I only do this like once a year. Saturday, doing the class. Monday, live gap rating, live trading, live gap analysis on the Monday the 8th because of the Super Bowl Sunday. So it's going to be a fun weekend no matter how you slice it. Have a great day, everyone.